Hey guys, this is Song with S1 Built. Today I want to go over a little bit about um, the diff and the dry shaft, um, the viscous, you know, the viscous coupler, clutch locking plates, and so on, why it's used. Um, so we got we get a lot, a lot of questions to say, hey, you know, um, if I use this clutch locking plate here, can I use a CRV dry shaft? The answer is yes, you could use it, but no, we don't really recommend it because it's going to cost binding. And I'm going to go over a little bit of um, the difference, you know, um, if you use these and what you're supposed to be supposed to be using. Okay, so first off. This is right here. This is basically a stock, a stock CRV diff with the stock dry shaft. You can see there, um, there's no viscous, nothing like that. So inside here, inside here, there's clutch locking plates like like this right here. This is what takes the binding and all that away from um, from it. So it's in here. The problem with these, they don't really hold that much power, you know. Um, whatever stock is, you know, and that um, that's in there, that's what it's holding. They don't hold that much power. So, that's part of that. So, we came up with this um, clutch locking plate here. So, the way that this thing works here, it locks all this. It locks it. So, now, because you can see how when the locking here, this one here is on this side here. Okay, so, you can see how... Oh, it is. So what this thing does here is it locks everything together. It's like having these two plates together. You see it? So it locks that. Once this thing gets locked, it's in here. This one's already been done. So um, once this thing is all locked up, then you can't really. You don't want to use a um, a straight dry shaft like this, a stock dry shaft, because you're gonna it's gonna cause binding. You're gonna have to give some um, figure a way how to, you know, and that's where the viscous coupler comes in. So basically, once you get rid of this, you put this in here, um, this clutch locking plate, you would need a viscous of some sort. Um, this style here, Freelander, we have ours, and also you can use like the wagon and this couple of other ones, but um, those are really the three most popular one out there right now. Um, with this right here, these are what they call a 30K um, fluid inside um, for the stock Freelander. And they, they hold good power. You know, we're talking about maybe five, 600 horsepower. That's, you know, that's, uh, that it could probably hold. Um, anything above that, you wanna maybe go with a wagon that you could change out the fluid in. Or we can, you know, use ours, we which we make in 40, 45k, 30k, or 60k, um, with this right here. So that's the main reason why we 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 pretty much uh, use these clutch locking plate here. So you could use this. Not saying that you can't use this, but um, you, you, you'll you it'll start slipping. It'll yeah, start you, slipping. You have to mean if you guys are gonna use this with the stock, everything aside, and the CRV. You're gonna have to just keep it to see what the CRV power comes with, right? Like a hundred. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go more than like 300 horsepower to be, to be realistically. You know, people say that. You know, some people say, "Oh, I use it for around that," and anything above that, they it, the back wheel is just slipping. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, guys. That's it. Don't forget, we have two stage ones in stock. Yep. And we also make stage two and stage, stage three. three. Yeah. All right. In 45. In 30, 45, or 60K, and we can even sometimes do like a special mix okay, in there, yeah. 85K.